So you got your brand new Omtech Polar. You got it plugged in, ready to start engraving or cutting, but the laser won't fire. What the heck is going on? Well, let me show you a quick thing to look out for to help you get started. So if you watched my setup video, you saw that one of the most important things to install on your Omtech Polar was going to be your remote interlock connector. So that is basically just a safety key to prevent your laser from firing if it's not in place. So mine is already plugged in and it's right here, right? And you're gonna wanna make sure that it's fully seated and you'll know it's fully seated if you can't pull it out, okay? So mine's locked in place. That is number one. If your laser is still not firing after that, but you're still able to frame and move stuff around, then I want you to open up the lid. I want you to move your laser head. Yours is probably over here. Just move it over here to the middle. I want you to pull the tray out just a little bit, okay? And then grab the honeycomb and move it back. And what I wanna to point to is this little device right here. So this is actually a pressure sensor, okay? And if that is not depressed, so did you see that? If this is not depressed, your laser will not fire. And what I've been seeing is that the tray, this middle tray right here, is actually going over the switch itself. And uh, in, in some cases, it's not able to, uh, to depress the switch. So one way to bypass that is to actually go over here. And I may have pointed this out to you in my other videos, but this is your, actually your rotary toggle switch. And then this toggle switch actually disables this pressure switch. So in the up mode, it's turned off. It turns this off. In the down mode, you're basically turning that pressure sensor on. And the whole reason for the pressure sensor and then this little toggle switch is so you can use your rotary in the cutout when the tray is actually out. So is this little pressure switch really needed? Maybe not, but that's probably gonna be your culprit right there. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions or your laser is still not firing, uh, leave a comment in the uh, box below and I'll try to help you out.